Okay, so to start with, I really knew that I wanted to create this double jointed effect to really make her fawn legs look like a, a deer's legs. So I started by researching fursuit creators. Um, a lot of people making their fursuits have really fantastic ideas that have inspired a lot of the cosplay community. I started with a cheap pair of cheetah print leggings that I got from Target. And then I began creating the padding for my legs with large pieces of EVA foam that I heated and bent to create the shape I was looking for. Then I took a uh, couch foam, the sort of upholstery foam, and shaped it and glued it across each EVA piece to help smooth out the edges. And then glued this all onto the leggings. I used hot glue. You want to glue it while it is on your body because leggings are stretchy and you need to make sure they're being glued in the correct spot. But put either some silicone or a piece of cardboard in between your leg and the tight. Once I had attached the padding, I then took the fabric I would be using for the over tights, uh, that sort of brown stretch suede. It's a Yaya Han fabric uh, by Wyla. I glued two pieces of the fabric across each padding and onto the tight to help make sure it stayed secure and strapped down. And also again, to help kind of blend out the edges and make sure there weren't any bumps. I also created a piece that went from the knee portion to the back of the calf portion uh, on the outside of my legs to just help push that sort of diagonal shape across my legs. Once everything had been glued down and secured and I had walked around a bit to test it and make sure it was bending and moving correctly with my body, I then created a pair of tights to go over the foam padded legs. And I did that by cutting out a piece of fabric roughly the right shape for a leg with some extra since everything was padded a bit. And then I safety pinned it on my body uh, with the correct side of the fabric facing inwards. So that way you can just pull it off and sew a line right down the back. Then I put them back on to make sure everything was fitting correctly and wasn't bunching weird. Once I confirmed that everything was stitched where it needed to be, I threw a second line of stitching in there just to keep it from budging and cut off the excess fabric. I stitched the two legs together, threw a hem at the top and some elastic, and there we go. Once I had everything done, I decided I really wanted to push the fur pattern a little bit more. So I took brown and black fabric paint. I took an old doll comb, then dry brushed the paint, the fabric paint, onto the tights. Um, I did this while they were still stretched around the foam pads. And then just to kind of help blend the shape into my hoof shoes, I took a piece of the green fur that I have for the hooves and attached it to the very bottom of the tights so that they overlap. Once that fur was attached, I went back in and dry brushed the top of that fur just to help erase that very solid line between uh, green fur and brown tights. Hope this helps. Love to see what you all make.